Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com and today we're taking a look at the new JW Broadcasting app that's available for the fourth generation Apple TV. Now this is the Apple TV that has the App Store and uh, now there's available a JW Broadcasting app. So in this video we're going to take a look at all the features of the uh, broadcasting app as well as some of the content that you'll be able to view using the app. But first off, let's go ahead and get started by showing you how to install the app on your Apple TV. So here we are on the main screen of the Apple TV and uh, we're going to scroll right over here to our App Store tab. So we'll scroll to that and we'll just click to go into the App Store. Now at the top across the screen we've got Featured, Top Charts, Categories, Purchased, and Search. So we want to go all the way to the right to the search. Now here, when we uh, tap on search, we can go through this uh, alphabet and uh, type in JW Broadcasting, or we can hold down on the microphone button uh, using the remote control and just say JW Broadcasting. So I'm going to do it in that manner right now. JW Broadcasting. All right, so it finds the app right away. So we'll go scroll down tap on it and it's going to give us a nice preview page of the app itself showing us some screenshots that we can go through by uh, clicking on any one of those. We'll go back by hitting the menu button. Uh, it gives us the rating here. It gives us a little bit of information make sure we've got the right one. The seller is Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. So let's scroll back up here and we'll go into our uh, well, you can take a look at the um, description here if you'd like. I'm just tapping on that description right there to open that up. But we're going to go right into install here. So we'll tap that. And it's going to install the app pretty quickly for us. So we can click open right now to open the app. But I'm going to go back and show you where to find that. So I'm just going to use my menu button here on my remote. So here we are back on the main screen of our Apple TV. And if we just scroll down here using the remote, uh, there we have all of our apps that we have installed, as well as JW Broadcasting. So we'll tap on this to open up the app. Gives us this nice introductory screen. And then we're right here in the app. So now let's go through some of the features that you'll enjoy using with JW Broadcasting. Now, one of the first things I want to mention is as we go through these different uh, aspects of the JW Broadcasting app, if you have any questions, of course, you can leave them uh, underneath this video in the comments. But you also might uh, benefit from viewing the official uh, tutorial for this and that's found on JW.org. At the very bottom of the page, you'll see Get Help for JW Broadcasting. Then when you go into that screen, you'll find a, a Apple TV section that you can take a look at. So let's get started looking at some of these features. The first one we'll look at is the streaming feature. Now this is super cool because streaming is basically watching live TV. So now you don't even need to worry about finding wholesome programming. You can just go right in here to the streaming section of JW Broadcasting. And on the right hand side, you'll see that we've got different channels. Uh, that are made up of uh, different programs. For example, uh, our organization, you see on the left-hand side, we've got our Australia Branch Report, the Watchtower, uh, published since 1879, and so on. So if we click on any one of these different channels here, uh, just like watching TV, you've got different channels, uh, this will show you what's on the JW Broadcasting app live right now. So let's click on one of these. How about um, the Bible playing? Okay, we've got part of our JW Broadcasting program. It looks like it just ended. So let's see what starts next. And you're not going to hear any sound in this video because I've got my mic. Uh, sorry about that. But oh, here we go. Another uh, nice little short video here about the Good News brochure. All right, great. So that's in that channel about the Bible. Let's go into children. Now that's going to be up toward the top here. We'll tap on children here and we'll see what's playing on that. 
And there we go. We've got uh, wonderful, wholesome programming for children that we can uh, tune into at any time using the streaming tab of JW Broadcasting. Now we're going to head over into our video on demand section of the app. And this is where you're going to find all the content that's available in the streaming section that we just went through, but now in a more organized uh, manner that you can navigate through. You might recognize these different channels uh, or categories from the JW Broadcasting website. We can go into any one of these and you can just pick a subject or a program uh, on demand. Let's go into our movies section here. And we've got all of our movies uh, in different categories. And we can play any of them at any time. You can also hit the play all button and this will go through all of the movies in a, in a uh, certain category. So let's go into one of these here. We'll just see how it looks. We'll go into our young people ask movie. So here we've got a different uh, options that we can choose. If we're already watching one of these movies, we can hit the resume button. We can hit play or play all. And the play all button, again, will go into playing all the movies in this specific category. So let's hit the play button. We'll start it up here. And this will give it a chance for the movie to load. All right, so here we are. Uh, the movie's playing here. And at any time, we can just tap on the upper portion of the remote and we can scroll to fast forward or rewind to any point in the video. So we'll just pick a section there and the video will start to play. Now, if you do place your finger on the remote uh, without actually tapping on it, you'll get this forward 10 seconds and backwards 10 seconds here on the play bar. So you can click that at any time and it'll either go back or it'll uh, go forward that amount of time. But I'm going to click on the menu button here to exit out of this. And that's the video on demand portion of the JW Broadcasting app. Now we're back on the main screen of the JW Broadcasting app and we'll go into our third section here and that's the audio streaming ability. So we'll go into that and we'll show you what that's all about. It'll load up our different categories or programs for audio streaming and there's a number of them that you can scroll through up and down. The first one is new songs to Jehovah. So we've got songs 136 through 150 that we could play. Then we've got orchestral accompaniments, piano music, vocal renditions, original songs. Now these are the ones from the JW uh, Broadcast monthly programs that we could play. Now this is just the music. It's not the actual video. Kingdom Melodies is next. Dramas and dramatic Bible readings. So any of these we can go into and start playing. Let's go into our dramas here. We'll go into doing Jehovah's Will. It'll bring up this preview screen and we can play it or play all, which will play all of these uh, audio recordings from this category. We'll hit play here. And now this is playing the audio from this drama. Of course, you're not going to hear it right now because I'm using the microphone. But we'll go back out of this using the menu button on our remote. And let's go into uh, the original songs too. Tap on one of these, it'll bring up this preview screen and we'll hit play. And again, it's not the video, but it's just the audio from the song. We can pause it by tapping on the remote. We can fast forward or rewind at any time. I'm going to menu out of this. Now, in any one of these categories, this is a little bit different than the video content in the JW Broadcasting app, but we can shuffle through any of the songs in that category. So now if we just uh, uh, tap here, we'll go fast forward all the way to the end and watch what happens. It'll begin the next song in that category on shuffle mode. And we can also play all, this would play all the songs in order. So that's the audio portion of JW Broadcasting. 
Now we're back here on the main screen and just a couple other things I wanted to show you. Uh, if you'd like to know which videos are being featured at any given time on the website, you can scroll through these featured videos here. Uh, this is nice that we've got our convention reminders, which is what we're going through in the meeting this week. So any um, videos that we'll be watching at the meeting, if they're on the JW Broadcasting, they'll be featured right here. We've also got latest videos, which shows all the newest videos from the branch. So these are great to go through and make sure you never miss a video uh, in your family worship or just your personal Bible study. Lastly, we're going to go down here to our settings button. Now, this is very cool because many of you might be wondering if different languages are available using the JW Broadcasting app on Apple TV. And the answer is yes, they are. In fact, if we tap here on the language button, look how many languages are already available to watch and to navigate in using the Apple TV app. Uh, we'll go into one of them here. Let's go into Chinese simplified Mandarin. And notice that not only is the content uh, or the audio in Chinese, but now all of the menus and the uh, navigation panes are written in Chinese. So it's really amazing how Jehovah has paid attention to people of all nations uh, with this cool new app. We'll go back into our settings button and we'll get back into English here. We'll scroll all the way down till we see English, which is actually pretty far toward the bottom here. There it is. Okay, so we'll grab that. That brings us back into our English uh, setting here. And we've also got the option to display subtitles when available. So that's off by default, but you can turn that on too. So that's the uh, overview of the JW Broadcasting app that's now available on the fourth generation Apple TV. If you, again, if you have any questions, you can uh, type them in the comments below this video, or you can go to jw.org and find the Get Help section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our videos and visit appchasers.com.